do it at a dime here. So this is a super fun video. I'm a YouTuber, but I am also a middle school Spanish teacher, for those of you guys who didn't know. And I get tons of requests every year to share very cheap teacher gift ideas that teachers are actually going to like. And I'm also excited because this is a collab with my friend Lindsay from The Frugal Crafter. Frugal Crafter, cheap crafts. The link is in the description, so be sure to check that out for more teacher gift ideas. So the first thing I wanna show you is a super easy DIY. This is gonna take you less than five minutes. It is this nifty little badge holder. This is like my lifeline, you guys. Most schools have a magnetic card to get in and out of the building for security reasons. You also need to carry around your ID. I always have a laser pointer with me and of course my llama. And these you can find at the Dollar Tree. You get three for a dollar. And how cute is it to have a customized one of these? And they're so easy to make. You just need a button maker. The cheapest spot to get them is online. I'm gonna link it down below. It's less than $5 and it makes a ton. You need some cute fabric, which you can get for under $2 at the craft store, or just use fabric that you already have. It doesn't have to be special. And you also need iron-on letters. And you can find these at the craft store for less than $2. So the first thing you wanna do is iron on your letters and then using this circular template, I traced it. Mine was a size 45 and cut them out. Then you wanna take the top button plate as well as the fabric and there's a little plastic pusher it comes with. You're just going to stick it in, then take the middle plate, tucking the fabric inside, insert that, and then the back plate. And I like to fold down the part that sticks out since this is not gonna be a button. And then using E6000 or Dollar Tree glue, stick it right onto your badge holder. So this craft rings in at under $2 to make, and I promise you, your teacher is going to love this, especially because it's so personalized and super practical. So this next idea is a real gift that a student gave to me, and it is this beautiful glass jar. It is monogrammed. I'm pretty sure this is a Dollar Tree sticker. The entire sixth grade staff got them. Every single one of the teachers keeps this out on their desk because students always need pencils. This is a really inexpensive gift idea, and it is super super practical in a classroom and I just think it's really cute. Something else that is so simple but so practical is stationery. A lot of times we get stuck using the really simple ones, just like the basic yellow sticky notes. So anything fancy that you can give, I am using post-it notes constantly all the time. This type of stuff is so appreciated, you can usually get it for less than $5, so these are always a win in my book. Also, gift cards. I know gift cards can seem kind of impersonal, especially if you don't feel like you have a lot of money to spend, you're trying to spend under $5 on a gift, but if you think of something that costs right around $5, a trip to Starbucks, a trip to Walmart, those types of things are really appreciated gifts and we will definitely use them. Now, there's tons of fun stuff on Pinterest if you want to get cutesy with it, but even just a really nice card from your student paired with that gift card makes all the difference. I I just want to throw this out there that as teachers, we teach because we love your kids. I can genuinely say I teach middle school because I love middle schoolers. Know that even if it's a small thing like a hug or a note from your student, you don't give a teacher a specific gift, we don't care. We love your kids. These are some easy DIY ideas that I know your teachers are going to appreciate and I don't think anyone else will have thought of. I hope that this video inspired you with some ideas. Be sure to check out Lindsay's video because I know what she's making and it's definitely something I would love as a teacher and it almost made this list. I will catch you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas and God bless you. Bye!